Now I want to discuss about that is if condition. If into bracket you can write the condition. If you are familiar with the C language, then here you can write the expression. It means if you write if and here you can write any non-zero value. If it is a non-zero value, then it is a true. And if it is a zero, then it will be false. But here in Java, it is a strict. Here you can provide only Boolean value. So in Java, you cannot provide here if and for example one, while and for example one. Sometimes in C language, people are writing like this while one. This is not allowed in Java. Sometimes people are writing if one. This is not allowed in Java. If you want to do the same thing in Java, then you can write while and then true. If and then true. In short, you have to write the Boolean value over here in the condition. Or you can provide the relational operator. As we discussed earlier, relational operator always written the Boolean value. So here you can write the if condition. If the condition is true, then this is the true part. If you are not writing the bracket, then by default only one statement will be executed. If your if condition having more than one statement, then you can write the curly braces over here. Now, if you want to check that another condition, if this condition is not fulfilled, then I want to check one more condition, then I can use the else if. And I can provide the one more condition over here. If this condition is not true, then and then this condition will be evaluated. So it is like a priority. If this condition is true, then the rest condition will be ignored. But if con this condition is not true, then it will check another one. If this not true, then it will check another one. If all the condition are false, then simply it will execute the else part. So you can say else part will be executed if and only if all the above condition become false. So if all condition are false, then else part will be executed. Let's see the practical of the if condition. So I'm just saving this my program. I'm just giving the name of this program is if demo one dot Java. Now I'm creating here class if demo one. Here you can write the main. Now I'm writing what? That is, I want to take the input from the user. And as we discussed earlier, to get the input from the user, you can import the class that is java.util.scanner. You can create an instance of scanner over here. Scanner s is equal to new scanner. To print the output on the console, you can use the system.out. And to get the input from the user, you can write system.in. Now here, I want to ask to the user that enter any number. So I'm just writing here, enter any number. Now based on this number, I want to check. So I'm writing here integer number is equal to s.next integer. Now based on this number, I want to check that the given number is even or odd. So here you can write the condition. If number modulo 2 equal equal 0, then you can just write system.out.print line and you can write number is even. If your if condition have only one statement, then no need to write the curly braces. But if your if condition having more than one statement, then you can write the curly braces. Here you can write else the given number is odd. So here you can write number is odd. So I'm just compiling this program that is if demo one dot Java. Now I'm writing here Java if demo one. Now it is asking me for the number. For example, 23, it says it is odd. Suppose I'm writing number, for example, 90, then it says 90 is even. Now I want to write one more code and that includes the if else if both. So here you can save this particular program and you can save as if demo 2. Now I want the another version of if with the if else if. For example, if user enter any number, I want to check 
it is positive, negative or zero. So here you can write if number greater than zero, then you can say number is positive. Here you can write one more condition that is else if number less than zero, then you can say number is negative. If the number is not positive, if the number is not negative, it means that definitely the number is zero. So you can write here that is it is zero. So you can save this program that is if demo2. You can compile this particular program that is if demo2.java and you can run that is if demo2. Now it is asking me for the number. For example, if I am providing that is 90, it says 90 is a positive. Now I am providing here minus 90, it says minus 90 is a negative. And I am providing here that is 0, then it says it is 0. So this is a very simple if else if ladder you can use like this. Sometimes people say that sir uh, I want to check the multiple condition. Can we use the multiple condition? Yes. So let me give the demonstration of the if condition with the logical and. As we discussed earlier this is the number greater than 0. This is the relational operator and relational operator always written the boolean value. Suppose if you are writing here that is if 1 then system dot out dot print line Java is interesting. If you write like this then compiler will give you an error and the error will be what? Incompatible type. Here you need a boolean. So instead of 1 you can write here true. If true then it will print Java is interesting. So here you can just test Java if demo 2. Suppose I am writing here number for example 89. Then it says Java is interesting and 89 is positive. So if true then the value will be printed. In short here you can provide only boolean value. Let me save this particular program as if demo 3. Now I want to give the demonstration of if condition with the relational operator plus logical and. So how we can do this? Let me give the example. For example, I am asking to the user that enter any month. And based on the month, I want to return the how many days available in that month. So here we will get the input from the user that is integer month. If month equal equal 1 or this is the logical or operator if month equal equal 1 or month equal equal 3 or month equal equal 5 or month equal equal for example 7 or month equal equal 8 or month equal equal 10 or month equal equal 12 then we can say system dot out dot print line and we can print month has here you can write the month month has and you can write 31 days but if it is not 1 3 5 7 8 10 or 12 then it can be a different and different means it can be a month equal equal for example 4 or month equal equal 6 that is June or month equal equal 9 that is September or month equal equal 11 that is November. So if it is a April, June, September or November then the month has 30 days else if month equal equal to it means if it is a February then the month has either 28 or 29 days and if it if the input is not between 1 and 12 right if the input is not between 1 and 12 
then we will simply print the message that is bogus month it means the input must be between 1 and 12 so you can write java c if demo 3 dot java now you can write java if demo 3 so it is asking me for the month for example i am writing the month is 8 then the month 8 that is the august has 31 days i am writing month 2 it is either 28 or 29 days and suppose if i am writing the month is 13 then it says it is a bogus month so students you can use the if condition for the multiple condition also here you can write the more than one condition this is the relational operator that is double equal this is also a relational operator and here you can use the logical operator or and and not whenever it is required if you want that the either of this condition should be full fulfilled then you can use the or and suppose if you think that all these conditions should be satisfied then you can use the and let me give one more example of the if condition so you people can get the better idea so let me save this program as if demo 4.java so this is my if demo version 4 i am writing here if demo 4 now what i want to do i want to get the input from the user and that is the marks of three subjects and based on that i want to calculate the grade so how we can do this so it is very simple here you can just write that is system dot out dot print enter marks of subject one i want to get the marks of three subjects so i am writing here integer m1 is equal to s dot next integer so it will get the marks of one two and three so i'm getting the marks of three subjects over here that is integer m1 m2 and m3 now i want to calculate the total percentage at grade so it is very simple here you can write integer total is equal to m1 plus m2 plus m3 and here you can write float percentage is equal to total divided by 3.0 so you will get the total and percentage but if the percentage is greater than or equal to it means the percentage is more than 70 then i want to print the grade is distinction so how we can do this very simple here we can write the condition if percentage greater than or equal to 70 then we can just print here that distinction you can just copy this you can paste over here if a percentage is not greater than 70 then just check is it greater than 60 if it is not greater than 70 but greater than 60 it means it is between 60 and 70 so it is a first class if it is not greater than 70 if it is not greater than 60 but if it is greater than 50 it means it is between 50 and 60 so it means it is a second class And if it is not greater than 70, 60, 50, if it is not greater than 70, 60, 50, it, and it is greater than the 40, right, then you can say it is a between 50 and 40, so it will be only pass class. If it is not greater than 70, 60, 50, 40, in else case, we can write that. it means student has not obtained the minimum marks so let me save this program and let me compile this program i'm just compiling this program that is java c if demo 4 dot java it says that float percentage is equal to total divided by 3.0 incompatible conversion from the double to float yes it is right so here you can write 3.0 f if you write 3.0 f then it will be compiled easily or either you can cast it right now i'm writing here java if demo 4 so it is asking me for the marks for example marks is 55 65 and 75 then it says that it is a first class i want to display i want to display total and percentage also as well as if the student is failed then i want to print that 
he is fail in the case if it is a marks is less than 40 in any subject so i'm writing here that is total is equal to and here you can write total here you can write percentage is equal to and here you can write plus percentage but students i don't want to print the grade distinction first class second class first class if the student has not obtained the minimum marks 40 in any of this subject right then i want to simply print i don't want to declare the grade distinction first class second class first class for example let me give the hint for the same for example if i am getting if i am getting 99 in one subject i am getting 98 in second subject but i am getting 39 in the third subject then it says that it is a distinction even if i am a fail it means i must score minimum 40 in each and every subject so i need to write the appropriate condition over here so in this case you can use the logical and for example suppose if m1 greater than or equal to 40 and m2 greater than or equal to 40 and m3 greater than or equal to 40 it means if the marks of each subject is greater than 40 then and then check then and then check is in a range of this if it is in a range of this then print this if the student is not getting the mark that is greater than 40 in any subject then i just want to simply display and that the he or she is fail so this is you can consider that this is a nested if and as well as i use the logical and it means if 40 is not available in any of the subject then the student is fail if student score 40 minimum in all subject then and then calculate the grade otherwise student is fail so let me save this program and you can recompile this particular code and you can run now you can provide the mark for example 99 98 and i am scoring 39 then total is 236 percentage is 78 but student is fail suppose if i am scoring that is 42 45 and for example 41 percentage is 42.66 but student got the class that is pass class and suppose if your score is that is 65 75 and 95 then definitely it is a distinction why because i am pass in all the subjects so this is the way you can use the if condition